Oh, that's the end of the episode. All right, let me turn this off. Sorry, I was watching Handmaid's Tale. If you haven't seen Handmaid's Tale, awesome show. And I think I mentioned that before on the vlog a while ago. Anyway, what is up, everybody? It's been a while since I've done an actual vlog. I've done vlogs because we did like the picnic and we went to Bush Gardens with our friends. But I haven't done a vlog of just us here at home, which right now it's actually just me. Nobody else. I'm here by myself. Eva came by and picked up Landon because she's going to go eat breakfast with uh, Crystal's cousin Christina and Grandma and I think they're going to go do some other things as well. Today, Crystal and I, we're getting a new mattress. We went on Monday, Memorial Day, and we got a new mattress because ours is about eight years old now, so it's about time for us to get rid of it. We got like one with a base that has, that's like adjustable, so it's kind of crazy. So right now, I have all this stuff around the house. Is that to make room from the door going all the way to the bedroom? make it a little bit easier for them. Also had to take our old mattress out because um and the stuff that we have under the bed because the base it's like pretty much acts like the box spring since it's adjustable you don't put a box spring on an adjustable base that just wouldn't make sense because then the mattress won't move. The base needs to fit in the bed so I had to take out the slats that usually hold the box spring in so I think there's enough room in there because our bed actually runs a little bit wide. Hit the light. So I've been pretty much just doing that all morning after landing got picked up was cleaning the house and uh, cleaning up the room. There it is, with um, without a mattress. And they should be here soon, I think, but they give you like a time frame of when the mattress is gonna be dropped off, and uh, I don't know. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was um, we kinda took a long break from the vlog. Well, I kinda, I took a long break from the vlog. I felt like I needed that break. Um, I felt like I was kinda pushing myself a little bit too hard to, put out the vlogs and sometimes I wasn't happy with the end result and I think I was being a little bit too critical. I think that's just kind of the person I am plus the fact that I was learning like sorry I'm trying to set this up here plus the fact that I was spending a lot of time trying to learn a new program which was a uh, hit film and it's the express version so it is free if you want to check that out I'll put a link down below it's a great program um, so there's the express version which is free and there's a lot of stuff in there that you can use to edit videos my laptop is so dirty and it's like the type of plastic this is the dirt just sticks to it and when I wipe it it like doesn't make it look any better it's crazy I'm not sure how to clean this type of plastic did a lot of learning on that program and I've learned a lot over the last few videos that I have made um, going from the I think Easter was the first one that I had posted in a while the one that I was happiest about was the Bush Gardens one that we did I ran into a lot of issues because there's a lot of stuff that I wanted to learn how to do but it's one of those things where I thought about it maybe a few days before and then I tried to kind of do some research and then apply what I had researched in like a run and gun situation pretty much and when you're vlogging it's not really a setting where you can sit here and set everything up because things are happening and you can't tell people wait let's not do that yet because I need to set up my camera for me it's always been I needed something easy in my hand that I could use to just kind of set it up and go which is why I buy the things that I have which is why I use my phone to vlog in the future I do want to move to using like a DSLR or a better camera to do the vlog so I'm like sitting here looking for stuff for the time being my phone works for me because it's it's easy I have the moment lenses and they screw right into the case and then I'm ready to go and then they always say you know the best camera is the one that you have so I live by that statement because I have my phone and even uh, editing the vlogs initially when I started a year ago, which it's been over a year. I started the vlog, I think, April 24th of last year, or 23rd is when I posted the first vlog. I filmed everything on my iPhone and I edited everything on my iPhone. It wasn't until December when I got this laptop, I started do editing on the laptop. And that's just because I hit a cap on what I could do with my phone. So I felt like to better myself as a filmographer, an editor, um, I had to start doing it on a laptop because there are a lot of restrictions on what you can do on a cell phone. I feel like the quality of the videos has gone up. I feel like, at least. I mean, <laughs> compared to like a vlog that I posted, well, I made some videos before, like videos I made like two years ago of us going to Bush Gardens with our friends compared to this last one of us going to Bush Gardens. There's a huge difference in those two. The older one, I used, I I used to love just shooting with fisheye lenses, which I have on my phone right now. And it was always just, you know, fisheye, fisheye. I wanted to fisheye everything. Can't use that for every situation, especially if I'm filming B-roll. It just, now to me, after everything that I filmed, it just doesn't look good anymore to have everything just in fisheye. So I've learned to use different 
lenses like I have and different focal lengths to film these things. And it's it's been a learning process, but I'm really happy with how far I've come. I've run into some snags just because with hit film, I feel like the workflow isn't very smooth for a lot of things, especially with like speed remapping for some reason. I get a lot of lag out of it and it's kind of, I'm just like, there's a lot of guesswork involved and then I have to actually render out that one clip and then kind of import it back in and then see if it fits with like, cause I do a lot of things where my videos are timed with the music. So I need it to be on point. And when I have issues with the speed remapping and it's not on point, it bothers me. And it's just an irk that I have because sometimes, especially when I'm making something, I'll be a little bit of a perfectionist. So if it's not completely on point, like maybe it's like a tad off, it bothers me. And I've been letting that go a lot more lately because I just wanted to go ahead and put it out there instead of like nitpicking these tiny little things. At the end of the day, I'm just making a vlog and it's not like I have a ton of subscribers, but it's more, it's like I get in my own head about a lot of things. So I'm trying to let those things go. What I did was I downloaded, you can do like a seven day trial of Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what a lot of people edit with. And the workflow on it and the ease of it, it's just, um, I kind of hopped on and it's just like, it was so much easier to get in there. And maybe it's because of the experience I had with HitFilm, which don't get me wrong, HitFilm, there are a lot of things that I really love about it that aren't available primarily in just Premiere Pro. Like I'd have to use Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. I wish I could just use Premiere Pro because then I'd be willing to pay, it's like $20.99 a month if you get like the Creative Cloud subscription for one program and I could, do, uh, and I could use Premiere Pro but I would need Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects to do what I want to do. So it'd be 20, it'd be $42 for those two programs, but then they have the $59.99 per month and you get all the programs, including Photoshop, which if I'm going to be spending $42, I feel like I might as well go to 59. I don't know. I mean, that's still a huge difference in price every month. Cause that's uh, an additional like $18. So maybe I might do that, but I wanted to test it out first to see how it worked. And actually I was really happy with like, um, the end result of the video I made. Now there's some things that I'm not really sure how to do and that's just because I don't have a lot of experience with the program. I just started using it this week. And uh, here's a video that I made. Um, I finished it up last night. There was, I was like adding some little things here and there cause I was trying some new things with editing. And actually the one thing I really like is that they have that whole warp stabilizer. Even though I'm using one of my gimbals, it's still a little shaky and I wanted to, you know, give it that little extra to make it super smooth. And that warp stabilizer is amazing, which I use in the clip I'm about to put up. I use it, I think, in one or two of the clips. The other ones, I don't use the warp stabilizer at all. But I do want to say this. I got a Zion Smooth 4, and this thing is amazing. And, like, I didn't think footage could be this smooth. I was, I've been wa looking at, I know, I'm, like, bouncing all over the place with my thoughts. But I've been watching videos and reviews of this gimbal up until the moment that I bought it. Even after I bought it, I was waiting for it to ship because it had to come from China. So it took like two or three weeks and I was just so amped the whole time waiting for it to come in. The huge difference, this gimbal is amazing compared to the Snopa M1, which is one I've been using. But I mean, the size difference is crazy. Look at this. When I shot the um, Bush Gardens trip, uh, Bush Gardens and Teresa's birthday, I used the Snopa M1, obviously, because I couldn't just bring this around everywhere in the park. And that is why I'm not gonna stop using the Snopa M1 for those situations, just because I was able to put this in my pocket. I mean, if I wear big enough shorts with big enough pockets, I can just put it in there when we're on rides. Now, <laughs> I didn't tell Crystal this, it almost fell out of my pocket once on a roller coaster, but it's the way I had it situated in there, so. I found a, way, a different way to do it and I had it in my pocket. I know there's just so much that's been going on and I'm bouncing all over the place. Anyway, let me put that clip up really quick so you guys can check it out. Like I said, edited on um, Premiere Pro, filmed with, everything was filmed on the Zion Smooth 4. And um, there's a little bit of warp stabilizer on like, I think the first clip and maybe the second clip. Check it out. In the stillness somewhere above The city lights you're falling So 
that's a clip I made. Um, it's not very long. It's only about a minute long. Um, I'm not going to go into like a full in-depth review of this Zion Smooth 4. There are a ton of people that are making videos of them. So if you're interested in it, definitely check them out. The thing is awesome. And actually, I think I'll put the video up without any warp stabilizer and without all like the choppiness of the clips. I'll take out all the effects just so you can see how smooth the footage was from the Zion Smooth 4 with the iPhone. And like I said, I'm shooting with the iPhone 6S and I was able to use it with my moment lens. I was using my wide angle, not my fisheye, obviously. Like I said, I'm adjusting, learning, growing and all that. So um, let me actually put that up right now so you can see what it looks like without the warp stabilizer in there. In the stillness somewhere above The city lights you're falling in love Still aware you know it is true That you are lost and this is a clue Doesn't that look amazing? I mean, it's so smooth. It's way smoother than the, um, what's that called? My other game. See, I already forgot the name of it because it's like the Zion Smooth 4 is so awesome. And I actually think it's pronounced June. It's so much smoother than the Snoop M1, but the portability is Snoop M1. That's why I keep it on hand. My phone's actually about to die because I've been watching like Hulu and stuff while I've been cleaning the house. So I need to charge my phone. I will be back in a bit. Maybe to finish out this vlog. I don't know if I'm filming anything else for today. Well, I'm definitely going to show you guys the bed because it's dope and it's going to be awesome. I'll be back. Like I said, got to charge my phone. Um, See ya. I did not have enough time to set up my whole thing, but they're here and they're putting in the bed. This is so cool. Look at this. It has a remote. What? Hang on a second. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, snap. You got the legs. Yo, and then I think if you hit flat, it'll put it back down flat. That is awesome. Oh, they're coming back. Oh my god, it's all set up. So we got the new bed. I forgot to mention earlier, Em got a new mattress too, which is here. Ta da! So we gotta put all our stuff back on our bed. That was actually the original reason Crystal went into Mattress Firm was to look for a mattress for Emelina. Crystal went in there looking for a mattress for her and they were having like these Memorial Day sale deal things. So that's why she went in there and they talked her into getting a new mattress, which we needed to get one anyway. Ours is getting old, but this is the new mattress. <sighs> Super comfy, not too soft, not too hard. Oh, that feels really soft actually. Ah, <sighs> so nice. But I have to actually get ready and go to work. I'm actually ready. Just got to throw my clothes on. So I'm going to put everything together in M's room and our room. And then I'll be on my way. But I think that's going to be it for me today, guys. I don't have anything else to do. I'm working. They changed our shift at work. It was used to be 1.30 to 10. But now the closing shift is 2.30 to 11. So I'll be working till 11 tonight. I got to put everything back. I got to move all this stuff back. Like that stuff goes under a bed. And I don't know. I'm going to move everything back. That way when Crystal gets home, everything's straight and in order. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. We got more vlogs coming. I'm probably going to vlog more since I'm getting my whole vlog situation figured out. And I'm thinking about starting some other projects. I always say that and I never do them. But this time, I definitely mean it. We will catch you guys in the next vlog.